Louis Kahn was born in Estonia in 1901. As a child, he immigrated to the United States. He attended the Bow Art School and studied neoclassical architecture. Later, Kahn studied architecture at the University of Pennsylvania and earned his degree in 1924. In 1935, after working in Philadelphia and throughout Europe, he started his own firm. As an architect, he is known for his modern architecture with a classical influence. He actually learned of modern, modern architecture by teaching it. His teaching career began in 1947. Khan visited Greece and Egypt during his time as the architect in residence at the American Academy in Rome from 1950 to 1951. Exposure to the classical buildings and ruins in those areas is displayed through some of his own work. Khan's philosophy of architecture is that it is the thoughtful making of spaces. When approaching a new project, he would ask himself, what does this building want to be? He thought about how the space was to be used and how the space should feel once it is completed. For Kahn, the use of indoor and outdoor spaces was very important. He had an affinity for natural lighting. According to him, no space architecturally is a space unless it has natural light. The Kimball Art Museum, completed in 1972, is considered one of Louis Kahn's architectural masterpieces. Located in the nationally famous cultural district of Fort Worth, Texas, the Kimball is in close proximity to many other museums, like the Modern Art Museum and the Museum of Science and History. The main facade of the Kimball Museum consists of 300-foot-long barrel vaults, each fronted by a portico. The main entrance is through the center vault, which is recessed and glazed. Although the style of the museum is modernist due to its lack of applied ornamentation, the building's grand vaults are reminiscent of classical Roman architecture. Inspired by Roman architecture, Kahn decided to use vaults for the museum's design. He uses a cycloid void vault structure, which is a curved trace by a point on the rim of a circular wheel as the wheel rolls along the straight line. The cyclo vault is an example of a roulette, a curve generated by a curve rolling on another curve. The vaults each rest on a single beam and are supported by a column on the ground. The space between the columns creates a nice thick pocket, or poche, as the French call it. This space is used for storage and electrical material. Although the building does have some artificial lighting, most light during the day is natural light allowed by the design of the vault. Direct light is diffused through the gold wing shaped reflectors made of pierced aluminum curved to reflect and filter the harsh Texas sun. This is something Louis Kahn was a strong believer in. Light is the giver of all presence. Because life has little holes that can't be filled, the Kimball vault has have holes near to where it connects with the column. However, they were not filled in order to allow natural air or wind inside the building. The materials used in the construction of the Kimball Museum include concrete for strength, travertine imported all the way from Italy, and white oak for the floors. Because the Kimball has so many things to look and appreciate, people overlook the very detailed folded metal handrails located on the main staircase in the lobby. Just look at that thing. This place is truly amazing. Everyone should go at some point in their life. It only takes one time for you to see the beauty. The Kimball Museum is home to a variety of priceless paintings, sculptures, and antiques, some dating all the way back to the Bronze Age. The reason for Kahn's desire to design the Kimball Museum's light-reflecting devices was to protect all the valuable works of art from any harsh direct sunlight. Most of the galleries in the Kimball are located on the upper floor in order that they might receive more natural light. Kahn iconically divided spaces into two categories, served and servant. Servant spaces are those that support the main areas of the building, for instance, restrooms, storage, rooms, mechanical closets, and staircases. Servant spaces are not meant for habitation, as they will only be visited briefly. Served spaces are designed for habitation. They are the main living spaces of a building. In the Kimball Museum, the served spaces include the exhibition spaces and public gathering areas, like the courtyards, cafe, and souvenir shops.